Hello and welcome. Today I'm gonna to show you how to properly assemble this freestanding package delivery box. In order to ship the box safely to you, it is necessary for it to arrive disassembled. But don't worry, assembly is easy with the provided instructions and this video. So let me show you how it's done. Step one, preparation. Open the box and make sure you have all the pieces, screws and bolts included. If anything is missing or damaged, it could compromise the structural integrity of your box. Next, make sure you assemble the box on a soft surface such as a carpet or blanket. This will prevent the powder coat from being damaged during assembly. Step two, assemble the sides. Locate the back panel of the delivery box. It should have a white label on it, but if not, you can easily identify it by these two brackets. Lay it down flat. Next, locate the two side panels. Again, they should be labeled, but they're pretty easy to find because next to the back panel, they're the two largest pieces in the kit. You can identify how the panels fit by this lip that runs along one side. It hooks onto the back panel like this. Secure one side panel with three of these self-tightening metal screws. Repeat this process on the other side. Step three, assemble the front frame. Stand the delivery box upright. Chances are that for shipping convenience, the letter flap and the package door were installed in the front panel before it left the warehouse. These two flaps will need to be removed in order to help the front panel slide into place. To remove them, just depress the spring-loaded hinge pins on either side of the letter flap and the package door. Then your front panel should easily slide into place. The front panel does not need to be secured with any screws. Once this panel is in place, you can reinstall the letter flap, but it's best to reattach the package door later. Step four, install the top lid. The top panel should be labeled with a sticker, but it can also be identified due to its two distinct edges. One edge has a single fold. The other edge has a double fold. Make sure the edge with the double fold is placed towards the front of the unit. Just set the lid in place and secure it with four screws. Step five. Install the bottom panel. Lay the delivery box on its backside. The bottom panel has two little tabs on the left and right sides of the unit. These will lock into place when you slide the edges into the clips on the left and right side panels. Lastly, use one screw to secure the bottom to the back panel. Step six, install the door bracket. Open the wings of the flap hatch by bending them to about 90 degrees. This is folded metal and should be unfolded carefully. Too much bending back and forth may cause the metal wings to break. Locate the package door, which you removed earlier during the front panel assembly. Set the flat patch into the package door like this, making sure the narrow end of the wings are toward the top of the door. Locate the tabs on the inside edges of the package door and insert them through the slots on the hatch wings like this. Once in place, bend the tabs to secure the hatch. Locate the two metal struts and secure them to the hatch wings with the long bolt, number M520, in your parts list. Use a lock nut to secure them in place and make sure the head of the screws face the inside of the unit. Attach the other end of the two struts to the inside panel. The inside panel is the smallest panel in your kit and is distinguished by the two spring-loaded hinge pins on the back side. Use the smaller bolt, number M510, in your parts list to secure the struts to the inside panel. Once the package door and the inside panel are connected via the metal struts, carefully set the assembly in place. Secure the package door as shown, as well as the inside panel by snapping the hinge pins into the holes provided on the inside of the back of the unit. Make sure everything is securely in place before proceeding. Step seven, install the large package door. The package door is this piece. It should be the last piece in your kit. The top of the door has this little spring-loaded hinge pin. The bottom of the door has a hole in it for this hinge pin. Begin by setting the hinge pin in the hole at the bottom of the package box. Set the package door on top, then depress the hinge pin to slide it into place. Your package delivery box is complete. The kit also comes with four extra long screw rankers to help you permanently fix the delivery box to the floor. There are four pre-drilled holes on the bottom of the unit. When you set the anchor into the floor and put a bolt and washer through the bottom of the delivery box into the anchor, as you tighten it up, this nut on the bottom of the anchor is gonna expand and lock it into place. These bolts can be used on just about any surface, including wood, concrete, and brick. One thing to keep in mind is that this package delivery box is not a vault. It's not a guaranteed safeguard against theft. It is designed to impede common package thieves who see the front of your home or office as an easy target. 
Make a statement by showing that you take package theft seriously and that your delivery location is a safe place. Retailers and delivery drivers will thank you because as you take measures to protect your mail, you're helping to safeguard the dependability of retailers and mail carriers everywhere. I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching.